Jerry's got the hot knife strapped on and this hot knife that he's showing here is it's one of the best ones you can get on the market. We have I think three of them now that we loan out to our customers, two or three at any given time. And uh, so if you buy our product, we will ship you out the hot knife for your electrician or yourself to use when it comes time for doing the wiring. All that we ask is that you purchase a, a kit that, like that end kit there, that the one that he has in there is for a single box. There's a kit that has a single box, a double box, and a blade for doing the wire, and then a straight blade in it. It's like $30. So you purchase that kit, because otherwise we don't get them back. A lot of times they come back damaged, and, uh, but it doesn't cost you anything to use the hot knife, but uh, just have to buy that kit. And then you just send it back to us when you're done with it. And, uh, but otherwise, to purchase that, it's about $600 for that hot knife right there. There are a lot less expensive ones. They just tend not to last as long. I don't think we've ever burned one of these out, but those little guys, we've burn through. So Jerry made an impression on the foam with the where he wants the box to go. So as long as the uh, sprinklers don't turn on here, we'll be okay. I don't even see any sprinklers. It does go pretty quick when you get it dialed in, in terms of running the wiring. You can make your wire chase groove fairly fast. Um, well, a lot of times what we'll do is... So okay. Run your wire chase. We all see where that electrical chase was between the poly panels. And how you had your PVC part pipe marked like I did on the other wall. Where it stops, you can just run up and go into your pipe. Otherwise, if you're just running straight up the wall, which is common, just make a slight hole in it and run right up to the top of your floor joist, up to the bottom of your floor joist. back in after you stick your wiring in just cut that piece in half instead of spray foaming in there you just take the same piece and cut it in half and shove it back in if you'd like so there's a couple things you can do for wiring you can for your boxes you can go just straight up and down into your floor system to go go over if you want to go horizontal there's obviously a stud there to get through so you're not going to be able to just hot knife right through that stud a hot wire cut so there's a couple things you can do. You can hot wire cut up to it, and then there's holes in that stud to be able to get your wire through. So, so you can stop on one side, start back up on the other side, or you can take and snap a chalk line at the height that you want a, a horizontal groove, and you can make two cuts with your cordless circular saw, and then you'll be able to pull every chunk of that stud that you cut out. And then you can just take your hot knife and run a nice horizontal groove all the way across. Holding your boxes in place, great stuff around them. Or you can tap on right through the back of the box to the concrete wall, depending on the electrical pole in your area. It's just a small.